we're going to remove the tilting rod mechanism. But hold on to this because we are going to be using it later on in the video. Now we're going to connect the motor to this axle piece. This here is the Tower Pro SG5010 um, high torque 180 degree servo. Here's the piece that I uh, laser cut from quarter inch uh, acrylic. This will fit right onto the axle piece. Okay, I have the hexagonal shape and the screw holes on the edges. So now we're going to fit it right here to the servo mount and screw it in to secure it. Okay, so now this is an enclosure that I made for it so that when we connect it, it doesn't move around in the blinds housing. And now I'm going to add a screw on the back to keep it from moving backwards. And here it is installed. Okay, now we're going to move to the other side and install the motor to pull the string up. We're going to remove the existing mechanism. And now I'm going to trim the strings because we don't need them as long as they are. Here is the high torque 360 degree continuous servo. This will be used to pull the string up. And here is a 3D printed part that has a gear with a cylinder, um, a thread hole to attach the strings, and the cylinder will uh, spool up the wire while the gear will turn a feedback system. Because there's no support on the bottom, I'm going to have to make one inside of the line. So I'm going to be, be using this piece of wood where I cut a circle out where the cylinder will fit into. And this will fit inside to be able to hold it in place. Once you threaded the string, we can now install the motor onto the blind. Now we can fit it into the blinds and secure this to the edges. Okay, now here are the schematics for the project. Uh, M1 will be the 180 degree servo motor, and M2 will be the 360 degree servo motor. Then we have the potentiometer being used as a closed loop feedback to tell what position the blinds are in. And then we have the ESP module that's going to be handling the Wi-Fi commands. Uh, so here we have the AC voltage going to a DC voltage. Um, I'm not running the motors directly from the Arduino because the Arduino can only output up to 500 milliamps, so that's not enough current for the motors to run. Uh, therefore, I'm going to hook it up directly to the power supply. Also, the Arduino is going to be receiving pulses from the ESB module uh, to tell it what operations to do. Now, the data lines from the servo motors are going to be hooked up to the Arduino pulse width modulation um, outputs to tell it uh, what position to be in and what direction to turn. And this is just a quick test to show how the mechanism works. Here's the Arduino board. You can pick it up for $10. Now I'm going to install it into the blinds. I secured it with two bolts and nuts onto the bottom to make sure it doesn't move around inside. Now we're going to be using two LEDs as a visual feedback system for operations. I'm going to dr drill the holes to fit them. Here's just a small jury rigging circuit. Um, we have the data lines connected here, um, and then the, res the resistors are tied to ground. This is the 10 turn potentiometer, which is going to turn as the lines go up and down. Now here's the pre-existing mechanism that we took off before. I fitted a gear to it that will be rotated from the continuous servo motor, motor and that will turn the 10 turn potentiometer which will be read into the Arduino. Okay, now I'm just starting it up. You'll see it blinking back and forth and once we have a solid green light, it's good for operations. Once you get a solid green, we can start giving it commands. Okay, Alexa, tell shades to go down.
rolling shades down. Gives us that green confirmation light that it's done. Okay. Um, Alexa, tell shades to shut. Shutting shades. Alexa, tell shades to open. Opening shades. Alexa, tell shades to go up. Up. Okay, that's about it. It's a little bit crooked, but um, I'm gonna have to fix that. It just has to do with um, the way it pulls the string. Alexa, tell shades to go down. Alexa, tell shades to shut. Okay, here's the final product, all wired up. Here's the LEDs for the operational feedback. And everything's encased in the housing. Okay, I'm going to come over here and start up the Arduino IDE so I can show you the code. Okay, um, here I just declare uh, the 360 and 180 degree servo. Um, here are some values I'm going to be using on later on. Here's the startup uh, blinking of the lights, so it just blinks on and off for 10 seconds uh, to allow the ESP module to boot up. And then it's going to give you a solid green light for one second afterwards to tell you it's all set. Um, and then down here, I kind of just have a bunch of functions, so it makes it a little bit simpler to look at. These I just use for um, testing before the final procedure. Um, and then here's the final function. And it's right here. So now if we look here, um, there's four input uh, analog reads. These are coming from the uh, ESP module, so it just gives it a quick pulse to tell it which operation to do. Um, and then here's the four case scenarios um, for each uh, pulse. So in this case, we have the red light turn on before the uh, procedure, and then it does the operation function here. And then after it's done, it turns off the red light and turns the green one on for two seconds to um, just confirm the operation's done with. And so I did that for all four pieces here. And then if we come down here to look at these functions, um, here uh, I attach the servo here and then it reads the position of the blinds at that moment. Okay, so if it's all set to do so, while the position is lower than the up position, um, it's going to continuously write the servo to lift the blinds up while continuously checking the uh, position of the blinds until it reaches this spot. And once it does, it writes it to 90, which stops it, and then I detach it so that it has no movement whatsoever. And that's the same thing for blinds down, except I just changed the 0 to 180 for the direction. Um, and then blinds open and blinds close, I just have it set to um, turn to a certain angle, which I've predetermined beforehand. Um, and then these, I have it separated here because these are all just the testing uh, functions here. So when I'm just testing it, you know, you just comment out um, the one you want to use. So if I wanted to just continuously rotate it to get it to a certain point, um, I comment out the final capacity or final cap and uncomment out this one. And that's about it. So it's not too um, difficult. You could probably do this yourself. Uh, replicate it pretty easily, um, but if you want, I can send it to you as well. Okay, and now we have the bill of materials for the project. Um, so first we're going to start out with the 180 degree servo. Um, I bought that on Adafruit for $10, I think. Um, and then I bought the 360 degree continuous servo on Amazon for around $16. Um, the Venetian blinds, um, two inch Venetian blinds were about $15. And the ESB module that I was using um, is around five to ten dollars. I think I got it for five. Um, 
Now I had the a different version of the Arduino, but um, I bought it for ten dollars on Amazon. And then for like the wiring and just you know some other miscellaneous pieces that I used, um, that's about another twenty dollars, um, and that makes a grand total of seventy six dollars for the project. Okay, so that's about it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be uploading more and more projects as we go along, um, so be sure to check those out.